Now in this lesson, we're going to solve quadratic equations by completing the square. So let's start with this one. x squared plus 4x is equal to 5. So to complete the square, take half of the number in front of x, which is 2. Half of 4 is 2, and square it. So we're going to add 2 squared to both sides. Whatever you do to the left side, you must also do to the right side. Now to factor this expression, x squared plus 4x plus 4, it's going to be x, and then whatever this sign is, plus this number before you square it, x plus 2 squared. If you factor x squared plus 4x plus 4, it's x plus 2 times x plus 2. Two numbers that multiply to 4 and add to 4 is 2 and 2. On the right side, we have 5 plus 2 squared, which is 4, and 5 plus 4 is 9. So now let's solve for the variable x. Let's take the square root of both sides. The square root of x plus 2 squared is x plus 2, and the square root of 9 is plus or minus 3. So now we have two equations. x plus 2 is equal to 3, and x plus 2 is equal to negative 3. So if we subtract both sides by 2, we can see that x is equal to 1. That's one of the answers. And for the other one, if we subtract both sides by 2, negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. So x is equal to negative 5. Now let's work on another example. Try this one. 2x squared minus 12x minus 7 equals 0. Solve by completing the square. So first I'm going to move the negative 7 to the right side. So 2x squared minus 12x is equal to positive 7. Now notice that there's a 2 in front of x squared. What we need to do is factor out the 2. If we take out 2, it's going to be x squared minus 6x, and then I'm going to leave a space. Now let's complete the square. Half of 6 is 3, and we need to square it. So I've added not just 9 to the left side, but 9 times 2, which is 18. Now whatever you do to the left side, you must also do to the right side. So I have to add positive 18 to the right side. Now to factor x squared minus 6x plus 3 squared, it's going to be x, whatever this symbol is, minus this number squared. x squared minus 6x plus 9 is x minus 3 times x minus 3. And then 7 plus 18, that's 25. Now let's divide by 2. So x minus 3 squared is equal to 25 divided by 2. Now we can take the square root of both sides. So on the left, it's just going to be x minus 3. On the right, plus or minus, the square root of 25 is 5. The square root of 2 We'll just leave it as root 2. Now let's rationalize this expression. Let's multiply the top and the bottom by root 2. So x minus 3 is equal to plus or minus 5 root 2 over 2. Now all we could do now is just add 3 to both sides. So x is equal to 3 plus or minus 5 root 2 over 2. Now we can't add 3 and 5 root 2 over 2. We can't add them together. So we're just going to leave it like this. This is the answer. Now keep in mind there's two answers. The first answer is 3 plus 5 root 2 over 2. And the second answer is 3 minus 5 root 2 over 2. Now let's try another example. 3x squared minus 5x is equal to 10. Solve by completing the square. Now the first thing we're going to do is take out a 3 from the first two terms. 3x squared divided by 3 is uh, x squared. Negative 5x divided by 3, well, it's just going to be negative 5 over 3x. Now we need to take half of this number. Half of 5 over 3 is basically 5 over 6. Multiply the denominator by 2. That's how you can find a half of a fraction. And then once we take half of it, we need to square it. So it's going to be 5 over 6 squared. 
Now, on the left side, we've added 5 over 6 squared, but times 3. So we got to add that to the right side as well. Now, how can we factor this expression? Everything you need, you can see it. It's going to be x, and then whatever this sign is, minus this number before you square it, 5 over 6 squared. It's always going to work out that way. On the right, we have a 10 plus 3. 5 squared is 25. 6 squared is 36. Now, let's combine this first. 3 over 36. If we divide 36 by 3, we're going to get 12. So this is the same as 25 over 12 plus 10 over 1. Now, let's combine 10 over 1 and 25 over 12. To do that, we need to get common denominators. Let's multiply this by 12 over 12. So that becomes 120 over 12. One twenty plus twenty five is one hundred forty five over twelve. Now, what we need to do is get rid of this three. So, we're going to multiply both sides by one third. On the left side, three and one third will cancel. On the right side, we might be able to reduce a few things. Well, it turns out that 145 is not divisible by 3, so we can't reduce that. So let's multiply 12 times 3, which is 36. Now, let's take the square root of both sides. We can't really simplify the square root of 145, so we'll just have to leave it the way it is. But the square root of 36 is 6. And this is going to be plus or minus. All we can do is now add this fraction to this side. So the final answer, x is equal to 5 over 6 plus or minus root 145, that's a terrible 5, divided by 6. So this is the answer. If you want, you can write it like this too, as a single fraction, since we have the same denominator. 5 plus or minus root 145 over 6. You can leave it like that if you want to.